Stephen, how are you doing? Good evening. The head coach of the U.S. Men's National Team, Dave Serkin. We'll begin with opening comments, and then we will take questions. Okay, well, this was, um, you know, we, we, these fixtures are, are great fixtures for our young guys, and, and there's a lot of um, lessons learned when you play teams uh, like England in, in the way the um, – and the form they're in and the way they play and the quality they have uh, in a tough environment. And uh, it showed, you know, it showed in, in my mind in the first half, I thought um, that uh, we were a little timid and we allowed a little bit too much space. Their spacing, their movement uh, was very challenging for our group. Uh, as much as we talked about it and watched and scouted England, uh, you know, it's still... Uh, on, on the players to sort of sort through that, and I thought uh, we just didn't get around the ball enough, didn't get in on enough plays, and, and it makes for a tough, tough, tough half. Um, and I've seen it many, many times. You know, Christian gets a great chance. Um, goalkeeper makes a good save, and two minutes later they come down and get the goal. Uh, getting the second one quickly after that, you know, catches your group a little bit deflated. Um, I did think in the second half, after we talked about some things at halftime, I thought there were some stretches when we were able to have the confidence to play a little bit and get better numbers centrally where the ball could go from one guy to the next. Um, so we're going to take some positives out of this. That's the point of these games. Uh, but we played a very good team tonight and uh, good quality. Um, Rooney didn't get his goal. Brad made that save at the end. But uh, it, it, overall, it's uh, the it served a great purpose for us tonight. Steve, hang on just one sec. <clears throat> oh, the old-fashioned way. He could walk. <laughs> Dave, given uh, the quality of teams you've been playing yeah. over the course of the year, uh, these guys you would think wouldn't be as timid as you said, against a high quality team. Um, that part of it must have been very disappointing to you given the progress you've made over the, the course of the year. A little, I, I guess using the word timid may be a little strong. I, I, I think um, it was a little challenging for them in terms of finding space uh, and understanding how to move and, and, and work off each other. So uh, it looked as though uh, because we dropped a little too deep and weren't around the ball that uh, I felt we could have had a little more presence around the ball to get in on plays. Um, but it's still, uh, you know, you're still starting some different players and different combinations, and it's still a, a work in progress when you only have a few days to sort of prepare. You know, England's, to be fair, now they use some new players too, but they've, they've been together, that group, for a long time, and you can see that. They really work well off each other. But... I, I won't ever deny the competitive nature of this group, and I thought in the second half it was better. Steve, you don't mind passing back. Dave, you talked the last couple of camps about unfirst errors and wanting to eliminate those, but yet again, there was a lot of those tonight. What do you attribute mm -hmm. that to? What can you do to stop those from happening, especially with another very, very tough game com coming up on Tuesday? Yeah, I think I think... Some of it is the technical ability of players, but I also think a big part of possession and, and uh, doing better with the ball is having options and being and, and our spacing and movement uh, allows us. And you saw it at times tonight when we were able to play a little bit, there were, um, there were options for players on the ball. And with a team like England tonight where we got stretched and now we win it, there's, there aren't a lot of options. So now you get a little impatient to force things. Whereas when you have better numbers around the ball, the ball can move a little bit more and there's flow. So I think it's a combination of some guys need to be better technically, but I also think it's a matter of just making sure our combination and movements are such that there's, there's better options. Dave, you talked about maybe not getting close enough to the ball and getting into guys, but it seemed like on the first two goals there was also a lack of concentration, guys just losing their man. I mean, how disappointing is that to you? Yeah. Uh, again, I, I'd have to, I, I always go back to the video, so I'll, I'll watch that. Um, they, 
they challenged us with a lot of interchanging and a lot of movement. And I think our communication and our movement uh, was slow. And I think that allowed for, for them to make chances. And so I think it's, it's not a lack of effort. It, it was more in terms of just having a better tactical understanding and, and shifting and moving in, in a way that would allow our players to have better numbers around the ball. And I didn't think that was uh, as good as it's been. Dave, um, a lot of people look at Christian as probably being the, the number 10 for this team for the future. And Christian said yesterday he looked at himself with this team as a number 10. Was there a reason you played him outside on the wing today? Was there something that you saw in England that you thought that was the, the right spot to play him? Well, th that's, a, that's always going to be a debate. You know, you, uh, arguably our best player. And, and so most would think, well, he should be in the middle of the field. And, and I'm not saying that maybe it, that won't happen. But I also know that when you watch him play for his club in the position he plays, he um, he's very dangerous and can find space. So our thinking tonight was let's let's put him in a comfortable spot, have the freedom to come inside uh, and, and make the game. And I think there were moments when he did. Um, I think as we move along, as this program moves along, as players around him get settled and, and uh, allow him maybe more freedom as a central guy, that's probably a place that would make sense. But I also think the comfort of playing in a position that you're used to um, and allowing him a little more space was, uh, was, uh, is also a good spot for him. Uh, Dave, uh, when you talked about the movement and the space England were finding, was it down the flanks that they caused you a lot of problems there, it seemed, in the first half? In yeah, particular? yeah, they outnumbered us a little bit there. And I think, um, again, that, that requires uh, an early shift and, and help, not, not from the immediate defender, but you know, also a midfielder sliding. And so I think you know, the way they pushed on on the flanks put, put us in, in a, a numerical disadvantage quite often. Does the formation change with like three five two, three four three help with that situation moving forward for this well, young team? Yeah, I think again, you know, depending on who you're playing, um, you sort of put together your system that makes sense to, you know, deny time and space. Uh, I I don't get too caught up in systems as, as much as communication and movement. So I think uh, tonight it was more of that and not the system. Additional questions. You want to take Ivis's question, Jeff? You can. It would have to be a three-parter. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, actually, can I ask one more? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> now you forced him into it. Well, I mean, specifically, what, what did you guys, what did you tell the team at halftime to, to allow them to get on the ball a little bit more and, and be well, a little we, bit more effective? We, um, we, we made a few comments that I've referenced earlier in terms of, you know, get movement, uh, moving quicker to get better numbers around the ball. We asked Weston to drop a little deeper with Will in our buildup so that there were more options for John and Miazga and our backs to play into the midfield. And Julian, who's underneath, to, to also drop a little lower, um, <clears throat> which will just allow better numbers centrally. And so I thought we did that. You know, obviously, it, every team that you play, like England tonight, has strengths, but they have weaknesses in their system. So the ability to play, uh, be, you know, centrally, but also switch and play using the flanks. I thought our movement and our uh, our numbers around the ball got a little better in the second half. And I do I do think there were better stretches of possession. Uh, the game opened up a little bit. Okay. Thanks, Dave.